Today's experiment will be to use this NX40 DBX encoder decoder and create my own DBX encoded record recorded onto a plastic plate or a plastic plate material. My source is going to be a live recording that I made on this Sony recorder the other night and uh, it's a big band uh, song including a school and a local uh, big band group. So I'm taking that source material and I'm running it into the back of my DBX encoder. So the input goes on to the receiver side. So where you see uh, receiver tape output and then my tape recorder is going to the uh, into the to the record cutter on the two tape record input side. So on the front I have my record play button pressed for DBX in and I have my line running directly into the microphone input on the front of my uh, Montgomery Ward record cutter. On the top of the record cutter here you'll see that I have a blank plastic plate disc ready to go to record on. So we are going to start that process now. On the front here I have it on uh, record mic which would be there. Turn up my volume here and you'll hear a little bit of a hiss sound coming from the decoder. And to mute the audio so it doesn't blast us into infinity, I'm going to plug this plug into my external speaker jack. All right, so let's go ahead and start the record cutting. Okay, that's started. And I'm gonna hit play on my little recorder here. You can see the swarf already starting to collect there in the center of the record. So what I'll do is after this record is cut is I will take it off and I'll put it onto a modern turntable with a 78 RPM size stylus and I'll try to play it this back through the decoder to a better audio system, rather than trying to play it here on this machine, because this machine doesn't really have a tape output, and uh, doesn't really have a way of running the line through to it. So um, we'll cut our record and play it on something else. And I'll watch this swarf collecting around the tape cutting head here. And it's not doing a good job now. So I'll just keep pulling on it manually. We will play it back on this turntable so we can check our recording and see if it turned out okay. I've already made some preliminary recordings before this one, but I have not yet tested the DBX playback portion of it. All right, so that's the end of the recording there. I'm going to turn the motor off. And again, if you didn't know that it was called that, this little puff of stuff is called Swarf. And I'm gonna pull the Swarf off, put it over here in my pile. You can see I have some blue Swarf from a blue plastic plate I recorded on earlier. And uh, some white Swarf from the other side of it. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the cutting head. You can still hear that hiss coming through. All right, so on the front here, I'll go ahead and unplug my, my, my mute plug, switch it over to phono, and we'll see uh, how bad our recording is. All right, here we go.
go. to here is the encoded disc without being played back through the decoder. This is just straight up what went on the record. that cool all right so now we hook everything up to the new machine and listen to it through the decoder okay after I made the first plastic plate recording I decided that I had the volume up too high and it was a little overdriven so I made another version without showing it to you I'm gonna play that one for you first and then I made a uh, an acetate cut of the same song and you'll see the improvement in sound quality definitely the acetate beats the plastic plate hands down so first I'll play you a little bit of the plastic plate version, played through my DBX noise reduction unit. We're not getting a whole lot of sound out of it, but you don't hear any hiss or any noise from that record. Okay, that's the um, that's the plastic plate. Now let's show you what the acetate recording sounds like. I can get my record to not stick to the spindle is exactly what it's doing. All right, put that back on. Here's a disc that had some dead wax on it. So I went ahead and cut it. Then the, you can see the original cut was here and then my cut was from here to here. So here we go. Let's see what this does. Well, that stuff noisy. I mean, uh, dirty. <laughs>
right, so there is your acetate recording. Cut it with the same cutting needle, same speed, 78 RPM. So now let's hear what this uh, acetate recording sounds like without the DBX noise reduction added. And here we go. Well, thank you for watching this video. This uh, recording was, of course, made on a 1940s Montgomery Ward record cutter, which I restored, and you can see that video on my channel. And please subscribe and share this with a friend. And if you happen to have a better record cutter than the one I have and you want to give it to me, by all means, uh, send it my way. I'll, I'll make some good use out of it and make videos with it. Thank you for watching.